linear algebra uh, for uh, University of Kashmir and Kalastar University, Srinagar. Uh, right. Uh, us, uh, jo university ne syllabus diya hai, uske according hum uh, is linear algebra ke course ko cover karne ki koshish karenge aur uh, in depth padenge, theek hai? Aur uh, jo humne pehle chapter unhone unit diya wahan se, lekin humne jo pe, hamara jo pehla chapter hai, usko uh, maine divide kar diya sections mein, theek hai? आप यहां पे देख सकते हो सेक्शन 1.1 रहेगा मैट्राइसिस एंड देयर प्रॉपर्टीज स्पेशल टाइप्स ऑफ मैट्राइसिस आएंगे दूसरे सेक्शन में 1.3 रहेगा सिमेट्रिक सिक्यू सिमेट्रिक हर्मिशियन एंड सिक्यू हर्मिशियन का ऑर्थोगोनल एंड यूनिटरी विल बी इन 1.4 एंड 1.5 आइडम पोटेंट इनवोल्यूटरी एंड नल पोटेंट एंड 1.6 विल बी मिसेलिनियस राइट इन मिसेलिनियस वी विल डिस्कस सम अदर टाइप्स ऑफ मैट्राइसिस देयर आर परमिटेशन मैट्राइसिस वन वन ऑफ देम एंड अनदर वन इज सर्कुलेंट वी विल डिस्कस देम ओके ये हम सेक्शन वाइज करेंगे ये हमारा चैप्टर फर्स्ट रहेगा ठीक है इन डिटेल पढ़ेंगे हम देयर आर सो मेनी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दिस मैट्राइसिस कुछ आपने पढ़ रखी होगी कुछ नहीं पढ़ रखी होगी जो नहीं पढ़ी होगी वो यहाँ पे डिस्कस हो जाएगी ठीक है और जो हम हम यहाँ पे पहले जो स्टार्ट करेंगे दैट विल बी सेक्शन 1.1 और ये जो जैसे हम इसको डिस्कस करेंगे इट विल नॉट ओनली बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर दोज हु आर सपोज टू अपीयर इन द यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन और कलस्टर यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन इट विल बी ऑल्सो बेनिफिशियल फॉर दोज आस्परेंट्स प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर हायर मैथमेटिक्स एग्जामिनेशन लाइक एन बी एच एम एम एस सी आई टी जेम टी आई एफ आर और यू कैन से गेट एंड नेट एज वेल राइट सो वी विल टेक अप द सेक्शन वन पॉइंट वन सेक्शन वन पॉइंट वन वी विल ट्राई टू डिस्कस दिस वन सेक्शन वन पॉइंट वन इन इन सेक्शन वन पॉइंट वन हम क्या काम करेंगे कि वी विल डिस्कस फ्राम बेसिक द डेफिनेशन ऑफ मैट्रिक्स जो आपने पढ़ रखी होगी लेकिन मैं उसको एक बारी रिवाइज कर दूं ताकि एक वो रिदम बन जाए ठीक है सो लेट स्टार्ट ठीक है सेक्शन 1.1 एंड मैं स्टार्ट कर रहा हूं डेफिनेशन ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ठीक है डेफिनेशन ऑफ मैट्रिक्स डेफिनेशन ऑफ मैट्रिक्स आपने बहुत बार पढ़ी होगी ठीक है जो मैं डेफिनेशन लिखा रहा हूं शायद ये नहीं पढ़ी होगी एंड ये आसान सी है ठीक है वो लिखा रहा हूं ए सेट ए सेट ऑफ एम इन टू एन नंबर्स ठीक है एंड दीज नंबर्स मे बी रियल और दे मे बी इमेजिनरी ओके and these set of numbers are arranged in the form of of a rectangular array a rectangular array of m number of rows m rows i will write m rows and n number of columns right it's called we'll call this set then a matrix n i should say m by n matrix ठीक है इसको आप एम इन टू एन नहीं पढ़ोगे यू विल जस्ट से इट्स एम बाई एन मैट्रिक्स ओके सो व्हाट्स द रिप्रेजेंटेशन यूजुअली एन एम बाई एन मैट्रिक्स इज represented as a11 a12 a1n 
ए टू वन ए टू टू सो वन अप टू ए टू एन एंड द लास्ट रो विल बी ए एम वन ए एम टू सो वन अप टू ए एम एन ओके नो वी विल रिप्रेजेंट एम बाई एन मैट्रिक्स लाइक दिस नाउ इन कॉम्पैक्ट फॉर्म वी कैन राइट दिस इन कॉम्पैक्ट फॉर्म इन कॉम्पैक्ट फॉर्म यू कैन राइट ए इज इक्वल ए सब आई जे एम बाई एन और यू कैन डायरेक्टली राइट ए इज ए आई जे राइट दिस ओके सो दिस इज द कॉम्पैक्ट फॉर्म ऑफ दिस वट वी हैव रिटर्न हेयर एंड दिस कॉल द मैट्रिक्स एंड द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन दिस आर एम इन टू एन यू आर सेंग एम एन नंबर्स एंड दीज नंबर्स मे बी रियल दे मे बी इमेजिनरी ओके एंड दे मे बी सम ऑफ रियल एंड इमेजिनरी दैट इज द एंट्रीज मे बी कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स एज वेल ओके so we will uh, you know and now see uh, what these entries are a11 what are these you will write here a11 a12 so on or call we call them elements or entries of matrix a okay in this matrix they are called entries or elements right also aij that's a sub ij is called i f j f entry or element of matrix a okay so a i j is called i j f entry or element of matrix a now we will you know see what this i represents and what this j represents so this will be another point for a i j i will write first subscript i denotes the number of row okay and second subscript that is j denotes number of column in which in which a i j occurs okay that means this subscript i and j they will give give you the address of this entry a i j in this system right when i say uh, if i say a21 okay that means by this uh, this element a21 is in second row and it is in first column right uh, this is uh, what this note means right we will also note one thing
by, you'll remember, by a matrix, we mean a complex matrix. Unless otherwise stated. Is ka matlab kya hua? Jab uh, agar kahi pe hum dekhenge, let A be a matrix, right? We will take the, that as a complex matrix, right? We will not, you know, conclude by ourselves that it's a real. That means these entries are real. Firstly, we will take uh, that it's a complex matrix. The entries are complex numbers, right? Agar fir wahi se usne bola ki let A be a real matrix, then we know these entries are real numbers. This is what this note means. Okay. Now we will jump to the types of matrices, some simple types of matrices, right? First of them is a row matrix, right? You must be knowing the definition of a row matrix and then the second one is a column matrix, right? And then uh, there is a zero matrix, or you can call that null matrix. Then another one is square matrix, right? And uh, one more is identity matrix, right? <coughs> we will discuss these five uh, types of matrices. In section 1.2, we will discuss spatial types, right? Here they are very much common. First one is a row matrix. Right. What do you mean by row matrix? You can say a matrix having a single row is called a row matrix, right? You can also say a single row matrix is called a row matrix. Shabdu ka khele bas, take So you will write the definition. A matrix B is called a row matrix. A row matrix If B has only one row, okay, or single row. Now, what will the example? There are so many you can give, right? You can take matrix A, one. Two. Is it a row matrix? No, it's not. This one is, right? B, you can take, right? The number of rows in this is one, and the number of columns is two. So this will be the order. And the number of rows here is one, so number of columns is four. So this is, these two are examples of a row matrix. How about if I write A is equal to, say it's some entry A. Is it a row matrix? Yes, it is. Right, now what does the definition say? Uh, don't, uh, you know, uh, go for uh, finding the columns and all. You, you just, you know, look at the number of rows. The number of rows here is one. Okay. Here is one row, then it's finished. It's a row matrix. Column is not required to see. Okay. This one is a row matrix. Uh, this was the examples of row matrices. And the second one that we're going to discuss is column and matrix. Right.
a matrix B is called a column matrix if B has only one column or you can in short say that single column matrix is called a column matrix now the example is you can take a one two three you can take b one zero you can take C, right? Now the number of rows here are three, and the number of columns one, number of rows two, number of columns one, number of rows one, and number of columns one. Now this is very much by this definition, it has only a single column, so it's a column matrix. This one has a single column, so it's a column matrix. Now how about this? You will not look for rows. Row ki taraf aap dekho ge nahi. If you are asked whether this is a column matrix or not, you will just check if there is only single column. Agar isme ek hi column hua, to baat khatam. Ye jo matrix hai, ye ban jayegi column matrix. Jaise isme ek hi yahan pe row tha, so we you know said it's a row matrix. Similarly, this one is a column matrix, right? So the matrix of this type is both row matrix and column matrix, right? <coughs> Let's move to the type number third. Uh, that will be a zero matrix. That's very much easy. Null matrix, zero matrix, right? So that will be type number third. Zero, or you can say null matrix. A equal, I will write in compact form, is said to be, to be a null matrix. If a i j is equal to zero for all i goes from one to so on up to m rows right and j one two so on up to n okay that means each and every entry of the matrix if each and every entry of a matrix is zero then we say that this matrix is called a zero matrix right now you can give an example as simple example is this another one is this one you can use so many right these are the examples of zero matrix अगर इन में से एक भी एंट्री नॉन जीरो हुई तो ये कहलाएगी नॉन जीरो मैट्रिक्स ठीक है सो दिस वाज टाइप नंबर थर्ड इजी टाइप पे द फोर्थ वन स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स मैट्रिक्स A equal to A sub i j m by n is said to be square
matrix said to be a square matrix if only one thing has to happen m has to equal that means if the number of rows is equal to the number of columns then the matrix is said to be a square matrix right you can just give an example right that is a this one is a square matrix because the order here is this this one 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 is a square matrix this one is a square matrix the number of rows two number of columns two number of rows one number of columns so this is the fourth type that square uh, uh, matrix now we'll uh, discuss the last type in this uh, class that is identity matrix right identity matrix now what's an identity matrix that's type number five here identity identity matrix matrix A equal to AIG. Please note this thing, right? I have written matrix A, A sub IJ, N by N. That means this matrix has to be a square matrix. Matrix A equal to this is said to be identity. If, if now it's important, A sub I J is equal to zero for all I not equal to J and one for all I equal to J, right? That is. If I just take a matrix, say it's A, A11, A12, A21, A22. For this to be an identity matrix, wherever there is I equal to J, 1, 1, 2, 2, that means I is equal to J, A11 has to be 1, A22 has to be one and the remaining where this subscript they are not equal has to be zero so I can write it like this when h is cup is equal like when a11 one one is one a22 two two is one a12 a21 0 so, okay. so this is the definition of identity matrix now you can give so many examples you have a this is an identity matrix firstly you will check whether it is a square matrix or not it is then of order 2 this one is then this one is of order three right square 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 firstly and then uh, the entries for which the subscript is equal uh, they are equal to one and for which the subscript is not equal they are equal to zero so this was all about identity matrix right now let's discuss uh, equality of two matrices, right? Equality of two matrices. All right. Equality of matrices.
let a equal to a sub ij and b r by s b to that rises right b to matrices right then we say <coughs> a equals b if now from if it's important right yahan tak to ye khali angrezi hai theek hai uske baad if ke baad mathematics aayega theek hai if a sub ij firstly if number 1 m is equal to this r that is to say number of rows are same okay and number second n is equal to s that is to say number of columns are equal right equal or same and the third point is a sub i j is equal to b sub i j for all i One, two, so on, up to m and j. One, two, so on, up to n. Okay. So when you are looking for the equality of two matrices, the first thing you will check whether the number of rows is equal. The second one is number of columns is equal. Then the third one is uh, are the corresponding entries equal. now these two uh, you know points you can you know combine them and you can say directly if order of the two matrices is same then we will check this right uh, if the corresponding entries are equal no <coughs> example check i am writing x 4 5 why Equal to one zero. It is Z here, and it's T here. Now, what you're going to firstly check is, is this true? Okay. Now, for that, you will check is the number of rows equal to the number of rows, right? Number of rows is two. Number of rows is two. Okay. First thing is done. Number of columns is two. Number of columns is two. That means second thing is also satisfied. Now, the third one is. A I J. That the corresponding entry has to be equal. Uh, corresponding entry means X has to equal one, uh, Z has to equal four, T has to equal five, and Y has to equal zero. Then these two uh, matrices are equal. Okay. I will uh, write a note here. If A equals B. then we write then we write a is equal to b okay <coughs> otherwise otherwise bole to uh, if they are not equal otherwise we write a is not equal to b Okay so that's all about equality of 
two matrices, right? Now let's go for addition, addition of matrices, right? Addition of matrices. addition of matrices. Again, let A equal to A sub ij and B equal to B sub i j R into S b any two matrices okay then we say matrix a and b or Conformable, conformable for addition if, if uh, we are given two matrices, right? Uh, the order of this is M by N and the order of this B is R by S. Uh, and uh, we say that uh, these two are conformable for addition or you can say the addition is defined uh, for them that means we can add a and b if the condition that is to be satisfied if same m has to equal r that is same number of rows are same okay point number second is n is equal to s that is number of columns are same okay this is the this is it right if the uh, number of rows are same and the number of columns are same or you can in short say if the order is same if the uh, two matrices a and b are of same order then we can add them right if a and b are for Mabel for addition right then we write a plus b equal to a i j plus b i j that means when the two matrices are conformable for addition that is addition is defined right then what we will do you know to find the sum or to add them we will add the corresponding entries now the example here is if your a is something like this B is five nine zero one. Then you are asked to find the sum. You are asked to find the sum. 
Now firstly you will check whether the order is same, yes order is same. Now how we will add this, we will add 1 with 5 that is 6, 2 with 9 that is 11, right, uh, minus uh, this is negative 1 as it is and this is 1, right. This is how you add, this is the order will remain. There is no condition that they have to be square, right, they can be rectangular as well. So this is how uh, we define addition and now there are properties of addition as well we will uh, discuss them right first couple of uh, you know lectures uh, will be pretty much basic right we will now discuss properties of addition for matrices I can write off same order because the addition is defined only when the order is Now let A equal to AIJ B equal to BIJ and C be three matrices of order M by N, right. Now the property number first is commutativity. That means matrices are commutative under addition. Let a and B B any matrices of same order then A plus B equals B plus A. You can skip this line as well, right? Yeah, if you already is written that they are of same order, so you can use them. Right, A plus B is equal to B plus A. That means they are committed to under addition. Now the property number second is associativity. Right. That is, if you are given A plus B plus C, the given matrices, that's equal to A plus B plus C, then this property says that you can group these two and these two. Like this, the result will be same. If you are familiar with these properties, then there's existence of identity for A equal to A sub i j there exists there exists you know that's a notation for the x a zero matrix 
whose each entry is zero we can directly write a zero matrix of order m by n such that a plus this null matrix is equal to null matrix plus a is equal to a that is this null matrix is additive identity for arbitrary matrix A. Okay. Now the fourth property is existence of inverse no for every you write for every a equal to aig there exists this negative is such that a plus this thing is equal to the null matrix here this negative a is called additive inverse of matrix A. Okay, these are the four properties, commutativity, associativity, existence of identity, existence of inverse, and the last one is cancellation laws if a b and c are matrices of same order as they are as we have written same order then a plus b equal to a plus c implies b equal to c and the second is if a plus b is C plus B that implies A is equal to C. Now this law is called left cancellation. Right. Left cancellation law. And this second one is called right cancellation no. and they are easy to verify right you know for every a there exists a negative a you can add both sides so this will become null matrix plus b so you will get b equal to c and here uh, similarly for b there exists a negative b you can add both sides you will get a equal to c this is called left cancellation and this is called right cancellation. These are the properties of addition of matrices. Okay. Now we will move to the scalar multiplication, right? The concept of scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication will be the 
second last topic of this <coughs> you know, scalar scalar multiplication of a matrix I should have said matrices scalar multiplication of matrices okay we'll write let a equal this matrix of order m by n and k be any number any number and this number is called scalar right then k a equal to this thing then this matrix is and this thing is a matrix obtained from A by multiplying each entry or element of A by of A matrix A by scalar K right then this is a matrix obtained from matrix A by multiplying each entry of A by a scalar K then this then K A is called scalar multiple of we just take an example you are given a matrix A that's 1, 2, 3, 4 then you are asked to find 3A that is a scalar multiplication of A by 3 that means you will enter you know multiply each entry by 3 that is 6 this is 9 and this is 12 okay now this is a scalar multiplication now we will see some of the properties of scalar multiplication jaise humne dekha tha kiske addition and then the uh, properties of addition let's move to the properties of scalar multiplication scalar multiplication I will write properties let a equal to this matrix of all m by n b matrix b i j of order m by n and k1 k2 belongs to 
some field f that means they are scalars right then the property number first says is that if you multiply this scalar it will distribute over right here it is b property number second says is that if you just take sum of two scalars you can write it as this thing and the property number third is as that if you just take k1 k2 times a you can write it as k1 then it is k2 a which you can write as k2 k1 a right you can write uh, this thing like this because the scalars they will always commute right that way look at that property number 4 is if there is minus k1 of a like this you can write it as negative k1 of a you can write this further as k1 this thing because this is in place of k2 we are written uh, negative 1 so you can go by that and the property number 5 is 1 times a right is a only and the sixth property negative is this thing right so these are the properties of scalar multiplication in the second uh, lecture we will start with the multiplication of matrices and then we will you know proceed likewise the properties and all that's it